After this tutorial, you'll be able to create glowing animated lines like these. It's all the same principle. I will show you how to do it on this clip. The first thing we'll do is add an adjustment clip. Place it on top of the original clip and trim it to the same length. Now go to the Fusion tab. Here we have a Media In. That is the original clip. And a Media Out. That's where you see the original clip together with the edit effects. Make sure that you see the Media Out window to see what you're doing. Toggle on the clips to see on which clip you're working. We are going to add the glowing line on the adjustment clip, so make sure that this is selected. Now search for a merge node and drag it between Media In and Media Out. Then search for a background node and drop it in the area. Make the alpha channel of the background zero. Now search for a paint node and drop it in the area as well. Connect the background to the paint node and the paint node to the merge node. Make sure that you're standing on the paint node. And now we are going to draw the line. We are going to create a spline. It's important to create your first anchor point where you want to start the animation. Select the spline tool here. If your object or part of the object has curves in its shape, keep your mouse clicked in and drag together to give your anchor point handles. Release and do it again. Create your spline like this. If your object is something like a square, the handles aren't needed. But for these curves, they are needed. Just go around your object. Once you're done, you can drag the handles to fine tune. It doesn't need to be perfect yet at this moment. But I'm gonna be honest, this looks decent. Now release the paint node from the merge node. Search for glow and drop it in the area. Connect the paint node to the glow node and the glow node to the merge node. Let's design the look of the line now. Click on the paint node. Here we can choose the color of the line. Let's give it the same color as the sky. In the brush controls, you can adjust the size and the softness. It looks already good like this. When you click on the glow node, you can adjust the glow settings in the inspector as well. You can adjust the glow size, the glow and some more things. When your line is designed, you can fine tune the spline to make it perfect. Once it looks good, we are going to animate the spline. Place your red time indicator on the frame where you want to start the animation. On the paint node, you can see stroke controls. Here you have to search for the right on effect. If you adjust these, you can see that the line starts to move. We are going to add our first keyframe like this. From now on, you can animate it how you'd like to. Let's go a few frames further and make the line completely visible right here. Then again a few frames further and let's make the line disappear here. Now we have this and our animation starts here. We can trim the adjustment clip right before the animation starts. And now you can make the animation come in earlier or later by moving the adjustment clip. That's it. Now you're able to create glowing animated lines on a static object.